Hi everyone, it's Amber here from the Mile Long Bookshelf and I'm really excited to be guest vlogging on Bookish Brits today. I'm going to be showing you my top 5 contemporaries. Starting at number 5, I have picked Salvage by Karen David. I really enjoyed Salvage. The two main characters are very different from each other. They've had very different upbringings and they're just very different people. Um, I really enjoyed reading about that contrast. I liked how they understood each other anyway. I wouldn't say it was a fun read because it's about a boy who had a very neglected childhood and he got abused and he basically grew up in a few different foster homes and children's homes. So I wouldn't say it's a fun novel but it's really well written and I highly recommend it. The next book at number four is Emma Hart's LA by Kara Stainton. I read this quite a while ago and it's just such a great book for escapism. I've always loved the idea of going to LA and Keris has written it in such a good way. I just felt like I was there and I was kind of jealous of the main characters in a way because they were getting to experience something that I wanted to experience. It's a really enjoyable book. I'd say it's perfect. Well, it's perfect anyway, but I'd say it's even more perfect if you read it on a beach on a nice hot day and it's just really good. At number three, I have picked Catch Up Clouds by Annabelle Pitcher. I wasn't really sure what to expect from this, seeing as it's written in the format of letters from a teenage girl called Zoe, but I actually really enjoyed it. You might think it's kind of difficult to get the story just from some letters someone's written, but it came across so well and the plot was just... I was blown away. This is a brilliant book and if you haven't read it already I really think you should. The quote on the back of the book says pitch perfect and I could not agree more. At number two in my list of top five contemporaries is Pivot Point by I think it's Casey West? I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I read this a few months ago and Pivot Point was really interesting because the chapters alternated between two different realities. It was basically so we could see what would happen if the main character picked one path instead of the other. Um, not a literal path, like a path in life. And I really liked the characters, except Duke, he was annoying. But I think this is a great book if you enjoy reading about things like parallel universes. Um, some of the characters actually had special powers as well, and surprisingly it worked. I had to put this at number two because to say I enjoyed it would be an understatement. Can I get a drum roll please? At number one, my favourite contemporary is actually a book that I named my favourite book of 2013 and that is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I have never read a book like this before. It's set in France and it's about a girl who lives in the US and she's flown over to France to go to a boarding school there. She has no choice in the matter and it was really interesting to see her settle in. I also really liked hearing about her group of friends and obviously there's St. Clair, the boy she meets. And it kind of refueled my love of France. I've always loved France, but this is just written in such a good way. It just draws you in and it makes you want to go there. Um, after I read this, I actually had trouble thinking in English because it just, it put me in France. I was there with the characters as everything happened. I actually think this was Stephanie Perkins' debut novel. This is surprisingly, amazingly awesome for a debut novel. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed it and if you haven't read this, I really think you need to. It's not really a cliche, it should be, but it's not 
and it's just so well written and I really want to reread it now I'm talking about it. So those were my top five contemporaries. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you found something new to read. Please subscribe to Bookish Brits because I absolutely love their channel and I just think it's a really good idea having 10 people on one YouTube channel. I just think it's really cool. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Bye everyone.